Hey humans, what's up? It's Sidecat back again. This is just a like like I promised. This is the second part of episode four because you know I want to explore this town. So this episode's probably not going to be as long, but we'll find out. Either way, let's get into this. So I started off here. Little Chrissy, like what's up? Give our Catty a hug. Aww, it's oh it's Catty from yeah Catty and Bratty. Mwah mwah mwah. <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like anything though. Your choice. Oh, okay. Uh, Asriel. I want to know about Asriel. Oh my god, Asriel. Like, what a cutie pie. <laughs> Do you remember when we and him went to the dance? That was like, the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him. <laughs> and danced inappropriately in front of your mum. And got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Oh wow, okay Catty, you've been up to some things, but it looks like you've got a... I'm assuming your husband, maybe? <laughs> uh, sister. Ooh, how's Catty doing? I have no idea. Oh wait, no, that's not Cat. That's not the same Catty. It's a different Catty. Okay. So yeah, it's Catty with an I and Catty with a Y. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Is it the same Catty? Like, is the Catty that you meet in Undertale the one with the, the, uh, the Y, which is this one, or is it the one with the I? Yeah, this is, this is starting to confuse me again. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me, my playing is an anti-blessing from planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my freaked up little sis. <laughs> no, hang on, is, unless Cassie with an eye is the, the gothic one that we saw in school. Is she, is she the Cassie? Because if so, then this is the same Cassie from planet hell, in which case that makes more sense. <laughs> um, right, hang on, I haven't finished talking to her. Little Chrissy, did you want to talk about something? Yes, uh, neighbours. Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy. She's like, my life villain. <laughs> like, the other day, I went to see Cat Petters 2, and the only other person in the theatre was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a, ca a cappuccino. Aw. And she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Ugh, copy gator. <laughs> copy Saurus? Copy Dial? I don't care, she sucks. I don't know, she sucks. <laughs> So that's Bratty then. So yeah, Catty and Bratty are like <clears throat> back in this event. Hey neighbor baby, when's your brother Doug coming gonna come by? Uh-huh. <laughs> My girls would love to see him. He's a sweet little man. Brother Doug. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> so wait, Azriel yeah, okay, so Azriel isn't Chris's brother then, that makes more sense. So Douglas then. Douglas is a new character, that's Yeah. Okay, um, the Douglas must be related to Chris then. Here we go, there's Bratty. Chrissy! Like, long, long time no see! What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Yes, um, memories. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate like six. Then I like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Chrissy! Okay, wait, you wanted, you, you asked if I'm busy, do you need me to do something? Neighbor. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? She doesn't realize that she'll never be me. Honestly, her whole family is like, so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a hairnet, girl, for like, your whole body. <laughs> Jeez, I, I, it's gonna kill me doing these voices, but it's so worth it. Aw, that's no way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking. But like, remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I like, made him give me his first kiss. Then your mum found out he kissed someone and... Like, I think she basically dialed 911. <laughs> I swear your family went to church, like, every single day that week. <laughs> okay, yeah, funny. So wait, is Toriel religious then? That'd be interesting. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. Does Bratty have a family then? Like, has Bratty got kids, or are they just like... I don't know, those look like Bratty's family. Oh, it's Nafsta Bluke's house! Knock, knock, knock. Ah, oh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? Ah! <gasps> Was that Metaton? Oh yes, Metaton, baby. He, so he lives there. That looks like Nastablook's house then. 
That confirms it. Nav Metaton and Navstapok are totally related in some way. Flower King, here we go. Oh, it's Asgore! He's back! And he's he's on the for you and the florist! Oh, I'm so giddy! <laughs> <coughs> oh, my voice is gonna kill me. Dum -de dum Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. It's just like the scene from the end Oh! Here we are. Howdy, how can I? He's doing the exact same scene. Oh, Chris. Oh, you give me a big hug. Oh, Asgore. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Oh, Asgore, oh my god, it's Asgore, I love him. <laughs> He's so cute. He's a big fluffy goat, he's so cute. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Asgore's business might not be doing so well. We need to do. We need to. Do, we need to do everything we can to make sure Asgore's business goes through like like a fucking wildfire. This. He's one of the best florists. Holy shit. Right. Now here we go. There are various flowers inside. There are various flowers inside. Yeah. Okay. Say, Chris. I was thinking. Perhaps when Asriel comes home, we could all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Oh. So, I'm still confused about Azrael. Like... Wait a minute, I just had a crazy theory. What if Undertale all this time has just been like an imagination? Like, what if it's all just one big dream? And um, Azrael, it didn't die at the end and everything was just, you know, like a dream. And that would explain what we saw at the end of this one. Like, at, you know, what you saw in episode 4. The part where you um, enter the unused classroom with all the playing cards and everything. Oh my... God, that would be a crazy theory. Like, what the hell? What if Undertale all this time was just literally a complete dream from Chris? Oh, that would be insanity. Like, imagine the theories. That would be crazy. Oh, it's some kind of catalog. A car magazine underneath. Oh, that's what's going to get a new car. Okay. Oh, what? No! That's... <laughs> Those are the, the soul colours! Wait, could my previous theory just be completely debunked? Like, what if like, the souls and stuff still existed? I'm assuming... Oh, this is cra- this is really crazy. This is freaking me out. Okay. The purple flower protecting the container, yeah. And then there's the dark blue one. Yep. Then there's the cyan one. That's my favourite colour, by the way. As you probably guessed. <clears throat> it's a golden flower protected in a container. A golden flower, yeah. It's a yellow flower, and then the orange flower. There's no red flower though, that's interesting. And there's the green flower. The green flower, yes. The, the golden flower, of course, we know who that looks like. That is very, mm, that is actually start, starting to scare me a bit. Because what if the flowey is still here? Like, what if he's still alive? Or, or what if he never existed? Like I said, like, what if the previous series was just a complete dream? Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Yeah. Oh, but that's so cute. There is some dirty fur stuck in the drain. Of course there is. It's a small TV on top of some superhero comics. Okay. It's an air mattress. It's certainly not king-sized. Oh, Chris, you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress and I could... Uh, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Oh, Asgore. So Asgore is not doing so well then, is he? Like, he looks like he's having a bit of trouble. Oh, we need to do everything we can to help him out, guys. Please, donate to your local florist. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, Asgore, this is so sad. It's a note. It says, No rent received. Again. Oh. Stop giving away flowers. Start selling them. Oh, okay. You have one month. C. Okay, who's C? I'll have, a, I'll have words with C. But... Asgore's just selling flowers like for free, like he's just giving them away. He's probably just too nice, like he doesn't realise that he's got to actually sell them for money. <laughs> oh, Asgore, he's a big fluffy bear, he's so nice though, that's... Oh. It's a door, it's locked, yeah. Um, I'm assuming he's got a garden. It's a dirty watering can, yeah. Various bags of soil. Poor Asgore though, he's... Oh. Okay, well, we'll come back Asgore. <clears throat> oh, Chris, before you go... Yes. Here, for your mother. Secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Don't as no. 
Have a great day, Chris. So is he literally just constantly giving flowers to Toriel? <laughs> is that why he's going out of business? Oh, uh, it's your dad's truck. Is that why Asgore and Toriel are not seeing eye to eye? Like, if like if Undertale was a complete dream, does that mean they actually like who, Chris? Does that mean she imagines you know at Toriel and Asgore hating each other and wanted to just be as far away from each other as possible? Because like in real life they're actually not going, they're not having a good time together. That would be also, that would be interesting. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CD. <laughs> He's an old yokel. Um, oh, it's the night guys. It's the gay night guys. These guys are funny. True. Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. Oh wait, maybe they're brothers. <laughs> That's funny because um, Thingy, uh, in Undertale, these guys were portrayed as, you know, being a couple. But if they're brothers, then that might make things a bit weird. It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it. Stick your fingers into the holes in the table. Yes. Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. Try from below. Your hand became covered in cobwebs. <laughs> Aww. So when Chris was younger, she used to... Aww. This is really sad. This is actually getting to me now. This game is so cute. This is... Seriously, guy, making my mind go crazy. So... Can you go fishing here, then? Is this like a little fishing spot? Yeah, can I can I not do anything here? Hmm. I'm sure I'll find out later. <laughs> this game is wild. Honestly, just like fucking freaking out in my mind right now. This game is seriously getting to me. Wait, I didn't inspect the grill. It's a broken grill. Oh, it smells like burnt cat food. Oh, damn it. <laughs> um. So hi, Sans. Uh, can we go see Papyrus then? Is he here? No response. But the distant trousel of bones. Shit! <laughs> oh, it's Bone Trousel, yes! Papyrus is playing his theme song in the background. Oh, that's perfect. We've got to go find- we've got to see Papyrus, I need him. Right, knock knock knock. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mummy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? <laughs> um, I wouldn't know. Um, I'm just a bunch of pixels at the moment. That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Oh, that's the guy who likes a knocking. Like he's the guy who um, lives in a house near the ice cube dog. He just yeah. Okay. Hey, monster kid. Yo, Chris. You survived Susie. <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like one time, me, one time, me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> Don't say that. She's reforming, I promise. Oh, you're lucky, Chris. You've got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. <laughs> if I skipped class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> That's actually not even remotely funny. No, you're right, it's not. Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt you. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. Okay. Um. Alphys was up here in the alleyway for some reason. <laughs> uh, oh, Chris. Chris, you're okay. I. I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Cool teacher, yeah. Well, let me know if you need anything. It's a dirty trash can. Dirty trash can. The trash can full of well kept flowers. Hmm. It's a saucer of milk. Wait, uh, what? <laughs> is Alphys living out here? Is she home? Oh, is Alphys homeless? Oh, no, not Alphys. Uh, oh, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? Um, yeah, what's the saucer of milk for? Oh, this saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Uh, what does she look like? But, well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think that there's a cat. But my cat. I f for a second I thought maybe she was going through that deluded anime sort of thing. You know, like those really intense waifu weebs or something, whatever you want to call them. They just like, they feed their body pillows with the anime girls on it with mashed potatoes or some shit like that. I thought for a second she was doing that with like 
an anime image of Mew Mew, but it, it could be there's an actual just like maybe one of the cat family is doing it. Maybe she's nicking, nicking the milk. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Okay, uh, flowers. Uh, oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He he always asks how you're doing in school. Then gives me a bouquet of them. Uh, actually, that he also he always <laughs> actually that he always gives me flowers. Really makes me wonder if he if he likes if if he likes the awesome comics I lent to him. <laughs> Shit. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. <laughs> yeah, he could actually. But Asgore, yeah. Um. So wait, Asgore is technically my dad in this game. So th does that mean he's? No, obviously. I mean, he, ob adopted, but like, Asriel. Because they, I, I remember they talked about Brother Douglas. Those cat guys. They, uh, the cat guy. He talked about Douglas, who is a character that we haven't met yet. Unless it's not a real character and he's just misnaming Asriel. I, I didn't check. I didn't fully. I don't remember his dialogue completely. But um, this is really just crazy. Um. Right, what was the other thing? Chalk. <laughs> Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. <laughs> so, in return, I can let you borrow, um, my homemade DVD collection of The Simptons. <laughs> you know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family. <laughs> it's got every episode in all 28 seasons. <laughs> it's the funniest, most quotable show ever. <laughs> but make sure you. Oh, since they just repeat. Oh no, she's talking too fast. And fighting giant giga demons and stuff, the main problem about that is that it's kind of lost the focus on family that it had earlier. When their vehicles were shaped like animals, and they were friends with the animal vehicles too. And let's not get into Simpton Galaxy Force, where the Simpsons discover another Earth on the other side of the. Wouldn't that gravitational. <laughs> huh? You don't want to watch it? But that's okay, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the Simpsons, but in Undertale. <laughs> and with Space Galaxy and stuff like that for some reason. Okay, this, this game is just. The comedy in this game is just pure gold. Crash out, pure diamond. What's up? Uh, oh, you got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll be standing here doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good thing to do, actually. Um, so yeah, I want to know more about this game now. Like, Sans, like, he's got his own little shop and everything. That's that's cool. Um, right, did we go this way? Oh, it's the library. Here we go. Oh, there's that kid again. Chris! You survived, Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. I mean, yeah, I'll get you that book eventually, if you won't be such a complete fucking dick to me. Chris, what's up? Betty's working, so I'm starting to starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. <laughs> she yeah, so she's basically getting him to do his work. Do the work, okay. Got to go to colleague! So Tim stubby! Hard! She's reading a she's reading a comic book of hot demon guys. Okay. Probably one of Alphys' fanfics or something. There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The teen zone, where teens can be kids. A feeling of immense relief washes over you. <laughs> so this is like where um, I, I just understood that joke. The, uh, the the ice cube with a headband on it, basically saying the "Cool Kids Club." <laughs> I mean, that doesn't really work out with some of the kids here, but yeah, it's funny. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Yeah, if I had the time. Re please remember my name. Please, I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy. Okay. Hot's Fire Guy, that's... who's Hot's Fire Guy then? Lord of the Hammer. First in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. Oh, Gerson Boom, the guy who... yeah. Lord of the Hammer, that sounds like Thor. There's a book here, you lick the page. It's... The, what? <laughs> this must be what they meant by flavour text. <sighs> oh god, okay. It's an unlabeled book. Look inside. Oh. I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalogue. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. <laughs> oh dear. Um, what's in here? You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Oh, 
Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Oh, I get it! Is that Toby Fox? Is that Toby? Is that Toby? Is he working on the next chapter? Oh, that's amazing. Is Toby a dog then? Is that his avatar or something? I haven't seen that though. Computer lab, please surf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. <laughs> yeah, probably best. You know what the internet's like sometimes. I, I would go upstairs and read more books, but you're blocking me. Never mind. Um, right, so what's over here then? Oh, th wait, this is just a school. Is there anything I missed over here? The picket fence. Yeah, never mind. Right, so yeah, we'll go down the road then, see where that place progresses, and then we'll go back home and sleep in bed, see what happens then, because that's when the chapter ends, I'm assuming. That's when the game ends, probably. So what's down here then? Here we go. Keep going. Oh, hello. What is this? It's locked. Oh, we can't use it yet. What is this? This. This looks familiar, kind of, a little bit. Is it... No, is it related to the underground in some, in some way? Is my previous theory just completely stupid and this place is actually, like, Undertale is actually a real story? It, at least in, you know, this game's sense. That's... Mm. I don't know. I mean, I don't think you'd have a warehouse door for, a, un, for you know, blocking the underground. Because they had a barrier before, so they would have had, like, an enormous fucking door or something. I don't know, it's a bit confusing really, but that looks important, which I'm sure we'll find out about later, like in the next chapter or something, if there is a next chapter. Um, but yeah, this, this, is, uh, this is really interesting actually. Just checking if there's anything else I've missed. Hoping not. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been in there. Um, Well, I mean, yeah, Undyne's still here doing her thing, <laughs> so we'll just leave her be. Um, wait, where was there was something over here, wasn't there? Oh no, we've already we've already done both pants. Um, already been in the diner. Already met Sans. There's no papyrus yet. I'm assuming, yeah, he's in the house, obviously, but we can't go in yet. Um. And Metatom, I know, I'm assuming he lives here. Uh, Asgore, of course, he lives here with his or with his little flower shop, which he's screwing up by his own accord. Can we go in here? Oh, Chris, like, if you want to come in, our cat flap is, like, always open to you. <gasps> I can't, you know, exactly get inside through the cat flap, because I'm a bit too big. But, you know, the thought counts. It's an ornate gate. It appears to be locked. Oh, no wonder. Um, so this little village then is pretty cute. Um, yeah, I suppose I, I don't think I've missed anything. Back again? Ma, you are active today, are you not? Perhaps you can use some of that energy to wake up on time. Your brother cannot carry you to school anymore, you know. <laughs> yeah, the book of hymns. Can I, can I sit on the chair with mummy? I want to sit on the chair with mumsy. It's the TV. doesn't seem to be even plugged in anymore. Because Toro doesn't even use it. She likes reading books all the time. Chris? What is it, honey? Um, let's ask about Azriel. Remember that video game you and Azriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? Ah, oh, Super Smash Bros. is awesome. When he was very little, he loved the Green Lizard from that. Green Lizard? Green Lizard? Is that- no. Is that King K. Raw? Wait. Green Lizard? No, Yoshi! That's it. Yoshi. Fuck. I never forgot about Yoshi. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all those these eggs with spots as decorations. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, there's certainly a lot of history in this. This is amazing. Uh, yeah. It's still cooling. Huh? Looked inside the sink cupboard. There's... Kind of Icy's cool boys. Yeah, oh yeah, we've, we've read all this in the first episode, so I need to do this again. But I will, just like in the first episode, I will flush the toilet again. Yeah, we did it. We flushed the toilet. We are literally gods at everything. Anyway, <laughs> um, okay. Am I still not going here? No, I'm assuming that's Oreo's room. There are crayons in the drawer. The labels have long faded, and there's. Yeah, we've, again, read all this. So that's, yeah, 
So this is it then. There are CDs under the bed. There's also a game console. There's one normal controller and one knockoff one. So, if you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? I... Yeah, I'm assuming that's the end of the game. Like, Toby Fox is working on the next chapter, probably. So... That's it? Is that is that it? Is that the end of the game for now? Is he gonna update it next in, uh, later on? I mean, yeah. I guess there's nothing really else to do. I've already I've seen all the people in the town. I've done the game, the the darkness and all the kingdom of darkness. This game is fucking amazing. I just I can't express that enough. I am. My mind is freaking hell the hell out. <laughs> I just can't wait to see what else is gonna happen. So yeah, I guess we'll go to bed. See what happens. Assuming yeah, that's it. The game's ended now, at least for now, you know, until Toby Fox does the next part. Go. Anything gonna happen? Is Chris dreaming? Hmm. She's rolling around, she probably can't sleep. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Was she having a nightmare? She was having a nightmare, wasn't she? Oh god, what the. Can I move? What is what? This is scary. If, if, if there's a jump scare coming up, I swear to God. God, I'm, I'm worried there's going to be a jump scare. What is she doing? What, what are you doing? Ah! Oh! It's going. Why are you putting your soul in the cape? Wait a minute, it's Kara! It's fucking Kara! No! No, 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 not Kara! No! Oh, that's cool. But no, 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 not fucking Kara! She's still around then. So Chris the light is running low and the shadows start to grow and the places that you know seem like fantasy There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth the promise in our Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark. He continues in chapter two. Oh my god, this... <laughs> wow. So... Oh, and the game just... <laughs> okay, the game just turned off on its own on me. That's fucking insane. So the game has ended now, for now, um, until Thingy updates it. But, holy shiitake mushrooms, this game is making my mind go mad right now. Like, I'm assuming that was Kara. Like, if Kara is the next part of the, um, the story, like, I'm wondering, oh, I know what it is. It must be, like, a, a thing about the genocide route. Like, if I, if I replayed the game, I could do the genocide route. I'm not going to do that, but I'm assuming that's what that, that means. But what is happening? Like, I'm still going on about my theory about the whole thing being a dream. Like, you know, Undertale, I mean. And uh, Kara must obviously have some kind of part in that. But, like, if Kara's a real thing then, if something is actually wrong with the character's soul, then that means, you know, something bad could happen in the real world. If it, if it, if it, if it you know, it's not the same world as Undertale. Like, if Undertale is actually a dream, I mean. If my theory is correct, then... Please let me know, like, please let me know if I'm right, if I'm onto something here, because this is going wild. This is literally just making me have a massive brainstorm, and I, I need to let it go. I need to fucking think about this game, because Jesus Christ, that was awesome. Um, anyway, I suppose I should end the video here before I ramble on too much, because there's nothing to see here. It's just a black screen, so, you know, enjoy that. But <laughs> in the meantime, 
I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the playthrough of Deltarune. This is this was chapter one of Deltarune. Um, and when Toby Fox releases the next chapter, I'm going to fucking go straight on it. Like, holy shit. I am... Oh, I can't even begin to imagine what's going to happen in the next few chapters. How many chapters are there? Does anyone know how many chapters there are in total? Or is, is he not? has he not decided that yet? Well, anyway, if, anything knows, if anyone knows anything, let me know in the comments. Because now that I've played through the whole chapter, and there isn't another one yet, then that means spoilers aren't really a thing anymore. Like, if, if any of you want to talk about spoilers now, you can go straight ahead, because I'm done with that now. So, um, yeah, but Jesus Christ, that was amazing. And the fight with um, Thingy, uh, Lance's dad, that was fun. That was really awesome. And he, he looks like a really awesome character. But um, I'm assuming we're not going to be meeting him again. But I'm hoping we're going to be meeting the other characters again, like the Rousey and Susie. Obviously, we'll probably meet Susie again, but Rousey, I really want to see him again. Because he was really nice. He was cute. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you again in whatever next videos I make. And of course, I will definitely, definitely be playing Chapter 2 as soon as I can when, whenever that gets released. So yeah, anyway, bye for now. Stay cool.